Republican Congressman Mike Lawler of New York has voted against Jordan twice now, and he joins us live. Congressman, good to talk to you as always. Let's start with seemingly this, this news coming out of the White House of a primetime address tomorrow from the President of the United States on, quote, Hamas's terrorist attacks against Israel and Russia's ongoing brutal war against Ukraine. Do you think what is coming here is a major request for both from a financial side? Well, I think obviously the White House has already intimated uh, that they're looking for uh, a major request that would include both Israel uh, and Ukraine aid uh, and potentially also deal with uh, the border. But uh, we'll have to see, obviously, what the president says in his address tomorrow. Uh, ultimately, Congress needs to get back to work. There's no question about that. Uh, and unfortunately, we would not be in this situation. Uh, if eight Republicans did not team up with 208 Democrats uh, to paralyze the House and create this chaos by removing Speaker McCarthy. Uh, Democrats don't get to wash their hands of this mess. Uh, they voted for it because they thought it would give them political advantage. Uh, and obviously you had eight Republicans who put their personal grievances ahead of the conference. Uh, it is obviously a difficult situation right now. We do not have consensus on a uh, speaker yeah. choice. I still believe Kevin McCarthy is the right person to be speaker and to lead this so house let's forward. So let's, let's, uh, let's pause but there. Ultimately, what's, the, yeah, what's the pressure on you like right now, Congressman? Because you think it should be Kevin McCarthy. The, the, the conference has moved in another direction. Has Jim Jordan called you? Have his, have his staff called you? What's that? Take us behind the scenes a little bit. What's that pressure been like? I've spoken with Jim uh, multiple times and had very direct and frank conversations. Uh, ultimately, if the consensus is there, uh, we need to move forward. But it's not there. Uh, and it's not a function of me or any one of my colleagues. There is over 20 and growing a number of people who do not want uh, to, to move forward here. So the issue ahead is obviously building consensus. But as I've said repeatedly over the last two weeks, it doesn't really matter whether it's Jim Jordan, Steve Scalise, or Kevin McCarthy. If the folks in my conference who throughout the course of the year have undermined the majority by voting down rules, by voting against McCarthy, by moving to vacate the chair, uh, if they don't realize that they have to compromise within the conference, it's very difficult to get to 218 on any yeah, number so of issues, way, including so appropriations, including aid to Ukraine. So, yeah, so what's the well, way, the way out? out? If 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 Jim Jordan, if Jim Jordan cannot build the consensus, he needs to step aside. Uh, and, and it's that simple. If you don't have the okay. votes, you have to move out of the way for the good of the conference. And right now, we need to get back to work. I think it's imperative that we empower Patrick McHenry uh, to serve as speaker temporarily uh, with all the power associated with it so that we can move legislation on the House floor. Uh, to wait any longer uh, is obviously problematic and it keeps the House paralyzed and we just yeah. can't let that happen. Uh, Congressman, this is on, this, the result. on this possibility. Again, this I, is the I, result of this, this, this is the result of 208 Democrats and eight Republicans voting to vacate the chair. You don't do that in the middle of a term without just cause. And that's why yeah. we're in this situation. And, 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 I, and I know you, you, you mentioned the 208 Democrats, but to be clear for the audience at home, Republicans run the House of Representatives, and that's, that's what started this whole thing. But before we go, um, you wouldn't, I, I you wanna... wouldn't, have, you would not, well, hold on, hold on. You would not have removed the Speaker without 208 Democrats teaming up with eight Republicans. It's that simple. Oh, that, they could that, have yeah, done no, right by the country. They chose to put politics ahead of the country, period. No, yeah, no, that's a fact. I'm just noting for the folks at home, Congressman, that, you know, Repub Republicans do control the House. It, it, it's their way out of this mess. And, and I think fair to say probably the, the ones who, who got everyone into it, at least on that side of the chamber. But thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.